So the next one, I would like to introduce the um, inbound variable. Um, I would like to having the dynamic um, table name rather than hard code or DR. Um, the table name I would like to have in dy dynamically coming from the uh, inbound soap request there, and then maybe the ORD sales order or in the, the AI invoice. Um, I would like to take, make it simple, just one uh, variable here. So I'm just going back to the, my processing and then by I um, click the modify my circle code once again and then I just add uh, as you can see the local variable uh, for this step uh, for this step and um, it will be visible for, for this, this step only and then I will have the, the name as the just add the new variable and the, the variable name as the table name uh, it represent the, the table name um, ORDR and or in the which table would you like I would like to uh, replace the ORDR here dynamically and then the information where I'm going I'm, I get it uh, from the get dog list and the table name there okay um, so I just need to uh, prepare the uh, my request once again I would like to pass the information from here let's say the table name I would like to have in the table name table name here and then I will by default I would like to have in the table um, ORDR. This the for the this the my inbound. I would like to pass the table name here dynamically um, into the uh, into the core here. Okay, this is the test inbound message. And the next one I would like to define the a variable um, as we have learned just now. Um, going back, closing this one, and then just modify. Um, I would like to modify the circle core here a little bit to uh, by adding the. Um, a variable here so as you can see the variable local variable this a local uh, variable for global I just would like to using the local one only visible for uh, for my for this step here so I just add a new one whatever the name I just would like to have the name the same table name the variable name as table name and then how can I retrieve this table name uh, the table name uh, I would like to retrieving um, uh, from the um, from the uh, from here from the get dog list and table name so um, if you have a look at the, this one um, this the we'll let it get it from a sender message the sender the, the sender message and then the sender message and then get dog list and table name so uh, I will let it get it with the X X pass so be like this I just get it from message. That's the center message, and then whatever, and then this the get dog list. Actually, this get dog list, and then table name. That's the um the the table name I would like to pass to this variable here, and then I just save it this one. Okay, just close this one, and then now I would like to. Um, I'll replace this one hard code ORDR with a flexible one with the dollar, and this the one I'm going to call the table name here. Okay, this the dollar it represent you will dynamic replace with the variable here. Okay, with the uh, table name just now we have defined, and just save it once again. Hope it works. And then just close, and then just debug once again. Okay, and then I just have a look at the uh, result directly. I don't having the any response here. Um, I think they could be something. Um, Let's just have a look at the call is out here. Let's make sure the call is out we have. Um, okay, it's the um, it's somehow the bucket there. Um, it's a known bucket, but it will be fixed um, soon. Um, because as, as you can see, we have we passed the value of the to the table name, but it's not replaced uh, where here. So whatever, I uh, let's. Just ignore this one. It's a it's a known bug, and you'll be fixed already. 
so uh, suppose we having uh, having the um, done this one we have done this one um, very successfully whatever I just make sure everything um, I still got it okay cool now the next thing now we I almost done um, this thing now the next thing is um, I need to generate the the WSDL right the, the backend side the web service side uh, is almost finished but to consume um, to exposing the whole web service to complete the one uh, we need to having the um, WSDL for the .NET or Java uh, client to consume that so um, before we do that we need to um, activate it we need to go into the uh, we need to activate the, our scenario first so just go to scenario and control and then just choosing um, our just need to set up uh, first we need to set up first so just going to here and we need to set up here first to set up um, what is the web service um, call for us so for us we um, I'm not going to using the I would like to create a web service um, I'm not going to use the mobile package for me if I set if I I need to set up the step choosing the step here activate the step for this package so just click activate it and save it and the next one I need to specify the sender uh, right now I have only having the uh, mobile um, as the uh, as the one but I don't want to use mobile if you are you, you, mobile is running stuff for the mobile for me I just would like to create a new one so I would create a new um, one for me I would just would like to go into the um, scenario once again the, the SLD once again and then this the one represent the I would like to copy the one from the mobile so WSDL um, and the, for the mobile web service mobile this represent my clan my my web service clan you will trigger uh, as the center and then yes I say yes I would like to code it and then I would like to as you see I just would like to modify it a little bit to modify the name and that's it um, web service um, test that's the system name um, for for me that's the system name for me I don't want to change anything else here um, just make a new one here okay and then that's the ID here I'm going to using this as the sender as the trigger um, to trigger my scenario here still going back to the scenario and then I control and set up once again I activate my step and then I just need to ma maintain the sender I just need to set the sender as the one I just now I created this one web service testing don't use this one because this is for mobile if your mobile is running ready you would uh, um, have the complete there so just save once again and then close it and then for receiver because we don't have any receiver it's a synchronized call so we don't have we don't need don't it does not require any receiver here so and then for the next things we we can activate it we can activate it um, by we, we need to generate the, the schema the WSDO and S, um, WSDO so we need to generate the, the AppSDO generation here uh, we need it will take a while okay let's wait Step. we just need to activate the scenario we activate it and then now the web service um, is ready for the consuming 